Come in. I can hear Mr. T. I can hear Mr. T. Okay. I think that's what my fans. Here we go. Whoa, my dear. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, oh, wow. What's up now, brother? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir, brother. I like that. Is that the uh 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 um uh, white snake? Yes. White snake. Wow, it took me a long time to read there. You know me, I'm not good at reading. Uh, I'm Where we go here, there? I'm and just so what? happy, man. I never never met a camera I didn't like. Uh, man. <laughs> Oh man, I'm so tough. Why you want me to sit down there? Man. Mr. T, please Wait, sit down. Right here? Oh man. Yes, please. Oh man, I'll tell you, I got my bag, got everything. Oh. Wow. Mr. T first shot to fame playing the boxer Clubber Lang in Rocky III. He was spotted by US TV executives who decided to base a new show around him, and so came about the 80, starring Sergeant B.A. Baracus. Nice, B.A. The bad-tempered, multi-skilled grease monkey with a string of catchphrases which swept playgrounds across the country. I'm on a real short leash here, and I'm getting tired of your crazy rap. You were uh, the first one to be brought on board. That part was written especially for you. I was the only guy on the A-team didn't audition. Really? Really. All the other guys had to audition. They wanted you right from the very beginning. Right, for my character, my character. Not the lead guy, not Hannibal. My character, B.A. Baracus. Bad attitude, Baracus. You know, don't take no stuff, you know. Did you have any say in the casting of your, your fellow 18 members? Mm -hmm. Did you know who else was going to mm -hmm. play those parts? Mm -hmm. had, uh, how about George Peppard as Hannibal? He was brought in after you? Yeah, after me. All the guys after me. See, George, at first there was going to be another Hannibal. He had wanted uh, a couple other guys. First he wanted our man Flint. James, James, James Corbin, yes, yeah. yes, yes. And then see George got the part. See George had just got kicked off a of dynasty. I heard this. George. George George had the part that the other guy had. Yeah, yeah. George had attitude problem that you kicked him off. And matter of fact, it was one of the producers of the A Team that saw George walking down the street. <laughs> <laughs> So he felt sorry. He said, George, you know, call him in and straighten him up a little bit because George was a drunkard. So he brought him in and, and whatnot, straightened him up a little bit, got the part, and, you know. Do you remember when you, know. you first met Pep Hard? I remember when I first met him. I remember when I first met him. It was weird, like, because he had attitude, like, you know. He didn't respect me at first, you know. And when I met him, I said, hey, how you doing? He said, yeah. I didn't say that. I, just, I was still cool, you know. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't expect him to hug me or whatnot, but still, you know, we on the same team. They may have been on the same team, but rising star Mr. T clearly outshot George Peppard in the fame stakes. The world went mad for B.A., who became an international celebrity. Even the White House wanted a slice of the action. For most of us, Mr. T was the 80. He became a global icon, launching his own merchandising, books, videos, and even a pop career with three of his own red-hot rap bitches. You were hugely, hugely popular. Do you think that George, did Did he wrestle with that? Did he find that quite hard to deal with? He was basically second banana. He was the lead on the show, but for the fan was, they would come to him, Hannibal, Hannibal, where's B.A.? <laughs> you know, he could piss, you know what I mean, you know. T is for the time that she stayed up night and took my temperature when I wasn't feeling right. And then, and then the other stuff, you know, see, George wanted to be this, then he, he hired a PR firm, you know, they were not... Then they told him on the People magazine, he wanted the People magazine cover. They said, see, he just kept on running into Mr. T. What you mean? I mean, <laughs> trying to escape me running, he said, no, we, we won't get you a cover by yourself. If you can get Mr. T, we'll give you a cover. Oh, <laughs> driven crazy. Everywhere you go, that Mr. T. Back again to kids. Hannibal, Hannibal, where's B.A.? <sighs> Was it just the fact that you were more popular than Peppard that bothered him, or was there a bit more to it? You know, mainly because he found out that I was making more money than he was. Oh, really? That's what it was. So you were making more money on the show, and he found out about it? At one time, I was the third highest paid guy on, in NBC. Wow. Every time my agent comes to the set, we got another deal for Mr. T. We got something else. When they came to, came to get me to the White House, I had told the guys, I said, hey, man, I'm going to go to the White House. Hey, guys, on the set, didn't want to believe it. Then they see me next day, a picture all on the thing, Nancy Reagan sitting on my lap, kissing me. What? You know, and then what? I made a joke. I said, yeah, that'll upset the Klan. Yes, indeed. Yeah, the what? Ku Klux Klan don't yeah. like that. White woman on Mr. T lap, I'm just bad black man. Yes, yes. <laughs> you know, see, see, it's back to my success. I'm a black guy. You see what I mean? I'm a black guy. Everybody on the set, they're white people. 
Right. You see what I mean? We got to call it like we see it. But you were the you only black I mean? man working on the show. I, no other black man working on that we, show at all. We, 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 I had a black stand in. First of them, they were using a white stunt double. They would put a black glove on them and stuff like that. You are kidding. They would put a little makeup on them and whatnot. From a distance, they would shoot them from a distance and stuff like that. Are you serious? I wouldn't lie to you, brother. See, what was the idea behind all the gold in the, the gold chains? It was symbolic of my African heritage. When my black ancestors was brought over, brought the United States from Africa, they were shackled by their neck, their wrists, and their ankles in steel chains. I've turned those steel chains to gold to symbolize the fact that I'm still a slave, only my price tag is higher. We love you, Mr. T. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. You, Mr. Man. T, everybody. Thank you, brother. Thank you so Thank much. You,